fled the country along with a number of top advisors. Images from the capital city striking and disturbing to many around the world. As you see, Taliban fighters carrying machine guns walking through the halls of the presidential palace. This after evacuations took place all day. The only airport in Kabul overwhelmed by U.S. military flights as the U.S. military worked to evacuate embassy personnel along with a number of American allies. Commercial airlines no longer allowed to land in Kabul, that according to NATO. Other extremely concerning images today as prisoners were released from a jail near Bagram Air Base. Many of these imprisoned people, Taliban fighters, some of them Al-Qaeda insurgents, extremely concerning to the civilian population that understands in a matter of hours, Afghanistan will be set back decades. They will move towards Sharia law implemented by the Taliban. War is never pretty, but the end of the U.S. presence in Afghanistan will be written about and studied for years to come. There was a clear miscalculation by the U.S. intelligence community, who last week thought it would take 90 days for the Taliban to reach Kabul. In just three days, the Afghan capital has fallen into the hands of Taliban fighters. One person we spoke with hopes the Taliban will not return to their brutal rule that plagued citizens decades ago. ...of everyone killed due to violence. I lost somebody to violence, so it's a pain that never goes away, but this is filling my heart. It's a passion for a safer and kinder world that propelled Denise Pellegrino to organize a memorial march and vigil Sunday. It's going to take a united coalition with pe people all over, because everybody is suffering this violence. The meeting spot was the memorial for Katie Janess, whose body was found stabbed to death weeks ago along with her dog. Atlanta police still searching for whoever's responsible. They're not forgotten. We will always remember them. Katie's longtime partner, Emma, was in the crowd, but this was about more than just this one victim. This group, dressed in white, honored the lives of all of those killed in the city of Atlanta to violence. The group sang songs and lit sage as they walked down 10th Street to the 12th Street Park entrance. They walked around the park hoping to not just clear negative energy, but to show a united front. We are come with the heart. I am here with my heart on my sleeve, standing with people of all races and beings. And if you know anything that might help in any of the cases. 1030 to a man shot and tell us he later died at the hospital. I've been hearing a lot about the crime that's been happening in Buckhead recently. Obviously, it's scary, but you just got to, you know, be cautious about your surroundings. The area in Buckhead is home to a cluster of bars, making it a popular hangout spot. Those I spoke with nearby describe hearing the gunshots, and I'm told the shooting somehow involves an employee. It's usually really fun, and I feel like usually everybody is really chill with each other. Yeah. So for something like that to happen, it's just like, it's kind of scary, honestly. Yeah, this is like one of the best places you can go in the area for like good food, good vibes, good music. Those who live in the area and frequent the bar say this comes as a shock. And there's usually security that checks everyone's bag at the door. So, you know, we don't know if they were paid off or what, but it's weird that something like that would happen inside. And as crime appears to be on the rise, officials want you to be safe. I obviously try not to leave at night by myself, um, carry some kind of form of uh, self-defense weapon. Travel in groups, yeah, for sure. Always. That's definitely the first yeah. step for safety. Don't travel at night. Always you know. share your location with all your friends. Leave the guns at home. You're here to have a good night. You don't want to ruin it for everyone, so leave the beef, leave the guns at home. And police have not released any information Inside this parking garage at the Ashley in Buckhead, it's not clear exactly how it happened, but uh, we do know that police are talking to several people right now. They gave us an update a short time ago. Take a listen to what they had to say. We have a couple people detained at this point. Nobody's, we don't have any charges on anybody, um, and I can't say if we're anticipating charging them, but uh, we do have them. They're going to be taken to headquarters where we can give a better understanding of what happened. And back out here live, you can see the investigators continuing their work at this hour. They say they have ruled out suicide as a possible cause of this shooting. They're still investigating whether or not it was an accidental or a negligent discharge of the firearm. But regardless, again, the big sad news here tonight is that an 18-year-old woman has died. That's the latest from here live in Buckhead. Rob, you're Living in the age of technology has made things uh, 
I don't know, you get instant information, and that information gets you thinking all kinds of things. Well, you ain't got nothing to blame that on but technology. Because, point in case, even though the screens are smaller, you can carry them in your pocket. And they want you on it 24-7. of Atlanta City Hall this evening to speak out against the construction of a massive police training facility in DeKalb County. The city council is expected to approve the proposal tomorrow. Fox 5's Rob Durienzo spoke with people on both sides of the issue. These protesters call the proposed police training facility in DeKalb County Cop City. They say that it is far too big for Atlanta's police department and that it will damage the environment in the area along with the neighborhood. We fundamentally do not believe that funding and greater policing create community safety. Dozens of protesters rallied on the steps of City Hall Sunday evening to demand that council reject the proposal to build a police and fire training facility. Thanks for waiting, guys. I really had to go, number one. Oh, my God. What are we doing? Peter just crapped in the parking lot. We can't do this.